Hi there guys, good evening. Um, just uh, a video about Castle Creation uh, programming card. Doesn't seem to be a lot of um, videos out on YouTube with the um, programming card for Castle Creation. Um, back in the days, um, you used to have to um, put a piece of uh, USB port into your computer and a dongle on the other end, which is that end uh, there, onto the computer. And that will uh, program your ESC. However, this is a programming card for the ESC um for castle creation esc um i'm just going to show you these guys um i have a talon 120 hv max um basically um it's a 12 cell esc you simply um, this has got a built-in back um, to the ESC, so you don't actually need a separate back like such, the Pro Back. Um, the ones that you need the back for is the, what I know of, is the Castle Creation Phoenix Edge. You do need a separate back like this. And then the two wires um, will go into the receiver from your back. Um, and this is constantly 20 amp back. So you will need something like a, a XT30 connector like that um, to your uh, power pack. But with something like this, it's already got a built-in back. So what I'm here to talk about is the Castle Creation programming card on the field, um, which is great uh, if you ever want to alter your timing. If your timing is not right, um, then you can... Uh, you can basically program your uh, ESC on the field. That's what it's designed for, rather than using a dongle and a computer. So it's color coded, as you can see there, uh, orange, red, and black. So you take your ESC wire, which is a throttle wire, um, then you shove it in here, um orange red and black okay and then you need to power up your esc because this esc is a 12 cell you need to plug both of the batteries in i'm just going to do this now and you will probably hear the fan kick in. If not, then that means I've not, no, I've not got the fan connected. But I will connect the fan. Um, I will connect the fan up here. So, when... I plug the final battery in, in place, the fan will kick in. Okay. Now, there we go. Can you hear it? And we have power. Red light is on, and you can hear the fan kicking in. Now, also, you have 
your programming card which is here flashing okay now there's a button here little red button bottom right hand corner if I press it that will change the flash can you see it's gone to cut off 6 volt and the next one will be cut off type you've got soft cut off and hard cut off which is here and then you've also got the back voltage 5 volt 5.5 6 volt 6.5 7 volt if you want a higher volt voltage uh, cut off then you have to do it on the computer uh, purely because this is on remember this is on a on field uh, programming card it's just like a programming box really but it's in a card form and you've also got uh, motor timing you've got low normal and then high and then you've got your motor direction forward and reverse and then you've got your throttle type uh, which is auto calibrated or fix and then you've got your heli fix the green bits on here are for heli use um, and then you also got your brake type which is 0 50 percent or 100 percent i normally set mine on zero percent because i don't want brake on my prop um, then you've also got the gov which is again heli type in the green so when you press this corner button again you will see the red lights will jump can you see you've got two extra red lights just come on and that two extra red light comes on when it says cut off type now the cut off type now is on soft cut off because although it's indicated three red light three red lights this actually takes up the three red lights on here soft cut off actually takes up three red lights okay and then you press the button down again then you've got your timing which is on normal because you've got two red lights at the top indicates normal and then you've pressed the red button again then you've got your motor uh, forward going forward rather than re in reverse press the button again it'll go on to throttle type and then the throttle type is auto calibrated and then press again you've got your brake type which is zero brake press again then you've got your um, your it's flashing I can't really see cut off uh, cut off type voltage which is on the three volt so uh, let's go across just gone across the uh, voltage type onto 6 volt okay um, well 3.2 volts that's the uh, cutoff voltage is um, the LiPo type is 6 volt okay I'm gonna hit the button again again then you've got your soft cutoff basically this is how the on-field programming card works. Um, mine is already programmed, so I don't want to mess with it too much. Uh, this is just a quick demonstration. Um, when you've done, um, what I normally do is to disconnect this wire here, which is the um, throttle wire. So once I disconnect the throttle wire, 
it'll stop the power from going through the uh, programming card and there you go you'll see the lights will stop flashing okay and you hear the fan has just sped up on my ESC okay uh, purely because it's not taking the power from the ESC to the um, programming card now I'm going to just disconnect uh, disconnect everything and as you can see you can still use your USB cable on your computer if you wish uh, just to set your basics up um, and then on the field you can fine tweak it with um, your programming card by just plugging your throttle uh, cable into that that corner there which is all it's it's color coded you can't go wrong um i just thought i'd do a quick video on this um purely because there's not a lot uh, out there um referencing um the castle creation um programming card and as i say um the talon this one here talon 120 max has a 20 amp continuous back uh, already built in so don't try to put a back in um if you try and put a separate back into something that it's already got a back um what you will get is your back will get really really hot and warm so don't do it the only way you can do it is by removing the red wire off um, removing the red wire off the um, signal wire oh, oh sorry off the throttle wire that's but but there's no point of doing that because all you are doing is if it's the case of you wanting a separate back um you're adding more weight and you're spending more money um because these backs they aren't cheap they're about 45 pounds um you um uk sterling 45 pounds so they're not cheap so there's no need to put separate back in place um when you've already got a perfectly capable um esc that it's already got a 20 amp back in place um that's pretty much it guys and um i hope you like what i do and hope you enjoyed the video i uh, hope the video um help you along the way uh if you do get a um programming card and not sure what you uh what you sh should be doing with it um and if you like what I do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And appreciate your time. Uh, appreciate you guys taking your time out, watching my videos and doing what I do. Um, it's, um, it's something that uh, keeps me going. And, and if I could think of anything else... Um, or if you can think of anything else, um, or if you want me to do a video on something, uh, please let me know. If I can help, I will. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I say good night.